Hi everybody, it's Steve Narudan here with Toby Toby Meow for another different version of a video for me. This is going to be a tasting video of the Fix D Dessert Chocolate. It's going to be, as you know, the viral Dubai chocolate bar is available only here in Dubai. It's the pistachio canufa um, kind of flavor. Basically, it's a pistachio filling with, um, um, I think it's what, I don't even know what's in there, honestly. I haven't had it yet. So pistachio tahini paste. And I think there's like a mixed, um, like a shredded um, in there also to make it a little crunchy. But I'm gonna try it now and see what it's like. Obviously, um, this has been a bit of a viral thing around the world, people doing this on TikTok and so forth. So I live in Dubai, and I figured I might as well get it delivered because you can't get them here. It's not available anywhere else. This is only a Dubai exclusive. Obviously, every else in the world is doing some um, inspired by chocolate bars, very similar in style to it, but this is the original. I'll give it a try. As you're probably aware, cats, should not eat chocolate, so Toby will not be having any. Much to his dismay, I did give him a big, um, big um, a serving of um, treats beforehand, so I think he'll be okay, but um, we'll see how he does. Um, with this um, chocolate bar tasting, with him in my lap, and me eating chocolate with the uh, pistachio inside of it. So um, with that said, let's give it a go. So the bar does come from um, Deliveroo, the only way you can get it. You can't get it directly from the manufacturer, you get it delivered on Deliveroo. They release between um, 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. every day on the Deliveroo app. You have to kind of fight to get them, you have to cart. It's like, almost like getting shoes in that they always do kind of um, uh, get in your cart, then they get taken from your cart, you can't check out. So it's definitely a fight to get them, but eventually I was able to get a bar um, yesterday. It does say you must eat it within three days. And you must keep it refrigerated, so there's some safety concerns about how it's handled and how it's um, kept. So I'm not sure do, do you can do much with it as far as getting it elsewhere in the world shipped over there. You have a three-day window before they consider it to be um, not necessarily as um, safe. Um, you can't get um, enough of it, so you decide can I get enough of it. Um, so let's try the chocolate bar and see how it goes. Um, Toby has been a little bit extra precocious today. I got him back from the... A dumb day care I keep him out when I'm traveling so he's been gone for about a week and a half and I was gone and he's extra attentive right now so let's see how he behaves when I trade the chocolate so I'm gonna try to do this and hopefully he understands this is not for him um, the packaging is kind of more handmade it's definitely um, this is a small business this is not a big corporation um, the local um, people that do this started a chocolate company back about three years ago in the last year or so has really taken off with the viralness of this one kind of bar. So the supply and demand is really kind of crazy on this. It's really hard to get the bar. The amount they make on a daily basis is kind of limited. And they're all handmade. So let's go ahead and push Toby on the side. Hey, buddy. Move over the way. Thank you. The bar is kind of um, hand-painted on top. So when you get the bar, like I said before, it is very um, a much a very large bar. You can see the painting or the different designs on top of the bar. You can see the thickness of the bar as well. It's a very thick bar. Um, it's definitely something that some um, multiple people can eat, or in this case, just me um, without Toby. Um, but I'll probably have this for a couple days before I um, finish the bar. So let's go ahead and crack it off and see what we're dealing with here. And of course, you see the big thing of this one is the filling. It is filled with this um, pistachio cream, the canoe, which is um, very popular. Toby is very interested. Got to keep him away from it. So let's take a bite and see how it is. And Toby's going to hopefully not get too close to it. Mmm. That's really good. It's crunchy, sweet, chocolatey, a little salty, pistachio, real good combination. I can see what all the fuss is about. Again, milk chocolate, not a dark chocolate, and that you can see in the center there, the filling, the green pistachio with this like a a wheat or a, um, phyllo dough in there as well and tahini it's actually really good it's not too sweet not too salty and Toby's gonna get in the way here real good crunch to it we do it the crunch is really nice on that filling as I say can't get enough of it. Really good. I think it does live up to, live up to the hype. A little pricey for what it is. Uh, one bar, about 68 dirhams. Delivery on top of that. Um, if you get one, you can't just buy one bar and make you buy two. If you buy one bar, there's an, there's an upcharge for a small delivery fee. 
I couldn't see buying two bars for myself, so I just got the one. So all in with delivery was about 100 dirhams or about $26. I will not be buying this often, but I can see what the hype's about. Very tasty. Um, I do get this, actually. So hopefully you get to go on Deliveroo and get this. Again, it's fixed, chocolatiers. Um, really tasty. So um, you can see like the this all the pistachio goodness coming out of the bar. I understand now why this is a thing. So obviously I think the rest of the world people are doing their own versions of it now. So like other bakeries or other chocolatiers are copying this, which I understand because you can't get it anywhere else. Even here in Dubai, the demand is so strong for this. I know there's other companies. I know a friend of mine told me there's one in um, chocolate, chocolate company in Sharjah that's doing the same a knockoff version for about 20 dirhams versus 68 dirhams. So even locally, people are copying it, which is kind of crazy. So, but stick with the original. Uh, personally, if you're able to get the original one, do. If you can't, I understand if you live in another country, I get why you'll do an inspired by version of it. Come visit Dubai, great place to visit, uh, or, or Abu Dhabi or Sharjah or any other place over here in the U UAE country, um, Emirates. Um, I mean, come get one for yourself. But if you can't, understand why you do a knockoff version. Really good. So, highly recommended. It would be Toby approved if I gave them some. But like I said, chalk and cats is a really bad thing. So never give, never give your cat or give your dog chocolate is not good for them. So um, human food in general isn't recommended, but particularly chocolates are very bad for them. So sorry, Toby, you had your treat earlier. I'm looking at him now. He's over there looking at me like, why can't I have some? Don't worry, he'll get, treat, he'll get dinner later on too. So well, that's it for today. Um, actually, it's a very tasty treat. I'm very glad I got this. So it's in the rule and say hi, I'll say hi back to you. Go out and buy a bar, support, support a local business that's doing really well. Really well. It's kind of cool to see a local brand um, get the international acclaim and attention and do really well. So hopefully um, they continue great, continuing success for them. It's always nice to see a local company do well. So that's it for me. All right. Um, sure to follow me, Nadudon, N-O-T-U-D-O-N on Instagram, as well as on YouTube. Um, on YouTube, you can follow me at Troll Wrangler or Nadudon, either one works. All right. Take care. See you in the real world. Alrighty. Bye.